church arm of the Langothlin Canal, 48 hour moorings on a spur that goes off the main canal. The weather's turned mild, uh, well, warmer and all of a sudden there's lots of holiday boats about. Got a bit of a traffic jam just to get out of this spur. There's another higher boat, lots of them. Hello. in the raised position all the time which is good so I have to do these bridges on my own and um, it's not so easy because the landing sides on the opposite side to the winding here so it's a bit of a palaver this has been interesting as well with those boat here They make the boats meet on the bend. used in years
Hello. Well, this is certainly a busy canal for tourists. It's pretty well enough to see on the movies other half boats. Not so go too fast. Boat the moorings on it last night, so I could have been out there early. Don't take it back with it. I can't see if there's any boat coming. Oh, this is a 
baby one that's only 80 metres long. See where people get the sides there. And it's got a towpath that goes through it as well. Well, this is Ellesmere, and a branch going up off the canal for mooring. A wharf over there, and there's a Tesco right at the termination of the farm. 50 yards to go shopping. So I think the Tesco at Ellesmere is in uh, an old wharf building. Head of the uh, the branch. And certainly an old crane hoist there from back in the day when this was a busy unloading, loading wharf. I think the solar panels on that boat are probably worth more than the boat. That's one of the streets in Aylesmere. And that's the uh, Black Lion Hotel, which has fallen on hard times. Massive, great building. Completely empty and closed up. Well, that building's in recent times been used as a banking hall. It's got a night safe there. Who remembers night safes? Well, that's the old town hall. It's now an estate agents. They built them grand back in the day. Well, White Hart and Ellesmere.
Adrian of this inn is reputed to be early 16th century and has been designated as a building of historical interest. Well, in 2024, on the 19th of May, the only interest I've got is getting a pint. And it's not over until 4 pm, and it's now 20 past 1. So I'm going to die of thirst. Historical piece about the uh, history of this canal here. With rude boys going by with their bass drums playing. One little curious thing, I don't know what it's for. But there's some um, like brass studs set into the pavement on this side and over there. Is it an anti-slip thing? I don't know. Anybody know? If anybody knows, I wouldn't mind knowing what the reason for that is. Anybody want some maggots for dinner? So it's a beautiful Saturday morning, half past seven. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. We moored up dead opposite Beach House in Ellesmere and Beach House was the headquarters of the canal company back in the day and they built a very grand residence there for offices with round elevation on it so they can see both ways up the canal and uh, this is the canal junction on the right hand goes down to the terminus where there used to be wharfs and loading etc etc <clears throat> and it's now uh, been turned into moorings for visitors made a nice job of it and then over to the left is the junction that's going to take us down towards uh, the famous aqueduct first of all we've got to stop and get water and get rid of the rubbish at the facilities that are just around the corner old working yard. Lots of history here. There's a boat in dry dock being blacked. You can tell this area gets busy with tourists. There's one, two, three, four water points really big landing platform. I think July and August it's like the M25 on this canal. Welcome to Ellesmere. Stands on the banks of the Langothland Canal which was completed in 1805. I do believe that it was called the uh, Ellesmere Canal back in the day because it was the headquarters for the canal company 